using a, an 8 thread, in this case it's a rusty brown. All you do is touch and turns, put down a layer of thread. It's important that you put down a layer, a smooth layer of thread. You can use a UTC or flat thread which is excellent. Uh, <coughs> there's a lot of other flies, um, threads out that you could use. But this is the one I'm using today. It gives, I feel that sometimes a better grip. But it's not as flat as the UTC and sometimes you do need that. Now I've got here a, a fine, flat, gold tinsel. It's actually tinsel, it's not um, a miler which are very soft and not the real stuff. But anyway, touching turns, what I'm doing here is taking round the tinsel. This is going to form the tag and bring the thread back up, touching turns. Let's take it all the way up to this point here where you started and this is where your, your tag is going to finish. You just touch and turns, take up your tinsel. It's got to be touch and turns because each one's holding the other up. All the way to this point here. Take across your thread two or three turns to hold. And then what I'm going to do is form like a small tag, uh, a butt here, which is going to be used. I'm going to use like either you can use hair or anything. This is like areas where you can tidy up. Now the tail in this is dyed orange teal, really bright, and you're looking for the, the, the feather that wants to stay together. You get these nice well marked feathers. Now I've taken off a length maybe 4mm or so th in thickness, and I'm going to fold it, this is going to form the tail, so you end up with something like that. Now this here goes over the back of the fly, tail, you're looking probably the length of the, the shank, I'll balance it up. Nice pinch and loop, nice and easy. Try and get your fingers close to the hook. Don't have them a distance away from the hook. And that's your tail. Now I could trim this up here, or I could trim it down here and tie it up with a bit of floss. And you do that a lot with traditional flies. They use like ostrich hair and such to do that. Now I'm going to just use, like, you could use wool, I mean, peacock hair. But you're better using it close to the eye, where it's much finer. We'll get some, especially for this size, for this size of fly. And this is peacock hair dyed black. Now all I'm going to do here is tie it on to the side, two or three turns. Trim away the waist. Then form the tag, hoping the hair is going to go back. See, it's lying back towards the bend of the hook. Catch it. At this point, I'm going to take, just tidy up, take the thread up, all the way. I know it's monotonous looking, but this helps to balance the whole fly. That area where you're going to tie in. Say, or finish off your body's going to finish there. But the way what I do is I tie in my tails the way back down. Now, there's like you could put floss or ribs or whatever. Now, I'm going to use a, a rayon floss. Salt floss is the best, but the rayon is okay for this. I'm going to catch it onto the side, touch and turns, take it right down until I get to the, the butt itself or the hero. Now I'm going to rib this fly using dyed orange peacock eye. Tear it off. You're going to tie it on on the side below the floss. On the wee, see this wee bit of skin that's come away from the feather. Just offer it to the side. That comes off when you peel it from the actual stem of the peacock eye. It's actually very flexible, it turns and twists very easy. Take your thread back up. Now you want to try and form like a tapered body. Now open out the floss. Now make sure your fingers are clean when you're doing this as well. Wash them before you start tying these flies. Now I'm going to take this, this hook up 
touch and turns towards the eye the length of the body and then I'm going to come back down opening out the silk watching the taper now at this point I'm going to start go back up, go back up now you just open out the floss this flattens it and there's your taper there cross your thread nice and tight and trim away the excess now you bring the rib up which is your peacock arrow bring it up nice and easy that point there just across your thread tie it down trim away the waist now I'm going to tie down the waist and as well tie in the hackle so that will save space now I've got a partridge, a brown partridge hackle here I'm going to tie it in by the tip fold it back get the tip out of the road just keep the thread nice and tight and break it off now you don't want a lot of turns you want the hackle length to be raised to the bar but anyway Take your time to get to this point here, right across your thread, take it down, trim away the waist. These type of flies refines your, your tying, tidies it up. Now what I've got here is Argus, they're small body feathers, ideal for this size of fly. So they are. Lovely, well marked. Now I've cut two, one a right and a left to form the wing. Now you want to line up the points so it's like that. It's your right and your left on each side. These go on top. Now these are quite, I find them they're easy to actually tie in. Lengthwise, you're looking just by the bend. So halfway into the tail, see there. You can form the wing. Look at the shape you're looking for. And the length. And then all you have to do is tie it down. Get it as close to the hook shank as you can possibly get. Now you can have a loose turn just to pull it up. Pinch and loop it through your fingers. Now if it's not working for you the first time, you can go back. Now, I usually like to crease it first anyway. And then you can fiddle. Second time usually makes it much better. Much better wing anyway. Once you're happy, see how it's sitting. Take away the waist. Just keep a hold of the wing just now to tidy up. Now you can finish off with a hero head as well. It's very simple to do. A lot of traditional flies do finish off with a hero head. Just tie it in by the tip. Bring the hair over. And wind it down. Just take your time, get this point here, a couple of turns in, just pull it back, keep, just keep the thread tight just now, and then whip finish. You can break this away, and tie off, and there is like a traditional, a classic wet style fly.